The New Adventures of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. We joined Bikini Bottom's noblest, boldest, oldest superheroes as they bravely prepare for vacation. But wait, while our heroes relax at Leisure Village, who will watch them over there? Man Sponge! And Boy Patrick! Reporting, reporting for, for duty. duty! Yeah, yeah, follow me. Up, up, up and, and away! Evil. Now, we want you boys to keep an eye on the place. Water the plants and make sure... Th oh my gosh, Patrick! This is the greatest wall of superhero secret gadgetry ever! I'm gonna play with the cosmic ray! I get the aqua glove! Hold on there, boys! You cannot play with this stuff! What about the Orb of Confusion? Duh, duh, duh. Oh, no! Prolonged exposure to the Orb of Confusion will give you uh, confusion. What about the Invisible Boatmobile? Especially not the Invisible Boatmobile. When we say don't touch anything, we mean don't touch anything. Do you understand? Loud and clear, clear trusted, trusted boy, boy companion. companion. Oh, great. Here are the keys. We'll see you in a week. Up, up, and away! Come, boy Patrick. While our heroes are away, we will keep evil at bay. Ha! Da! Ho! Huh? What is it, trusted sidekick? Hey SpongeBob, how come he's not chasing us? Looks like he's frozen or something. It appears to be some sort of prison chamber made out of frozen tartar sauce. This is incredible! Next to the dirty bubble, the evil Man Ray is the all-time greatest arch-nemesis of Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy. I have so many questions to ask him. <laughs> Pat, what are you doing? We're not supposed to touch anything. Well, you said you had a question. Well, that's not what I meant. I mean, I have a question. You but... said it. I heard you say it. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy said not to touch anything, and that includes freezing a supervillain. Free! <laughs> uh, actually, Mr. Ray, sir, only your head is free. By the supreme authority of wickedness, I, the evil man Ray, command you to release me from this frozen prison at once! Well, uh, Mr. Evil Man Racer, we can't do that. Why not? Because you're evil. You mean, if I was good, then you'd let me go? Yeah, sure, why not? Then, uh, in that case, I am good. Really? Yes, really. Really, really? Yes, yes, really, really. Really, really, really? Yes, yes, already! I'm good, I'm good! Now let me out of here, or you'll suffer dire consequences! Well, that's good enough for me. You fools, prepare to be eradicated! Yeah! <laughs> oh, what's wrong with me? <laughs> what is this <laughs> infernal contraption? Don't play dumb, Man Ray. You know that's the Tickle Bell Mermaid Man used on you in episode number 17. Oh, I love that episode. Oh, me too, me too. I'll never get out of here wearing this belt. <laughs> I, I, I need an evil plan that will trick them to take it off me. <laughs> Time for those acting lessons to pay off. Ah, remember that part when oh. Mermaid Man and Barnacle... Oh, sob. Oh, cry.
Oh, woe is me. You don't know what it's like being evil for so long. Oh, how I wish to be good. If only some kind heroes would show me the path to decency. <gasps> we can teach you how to be good and then let you go. Oh, that would be fantastic! <laughs> I'll fake my way through this just like I did in high school. <laughs> okay, Man Ray, are you ready for your first day at goodness school? Pat, get your wallet out. Okay, goodness lesson number one. You see someone drop their wallet. Patrick, drop the wallet. Now, what would you do? Excuse me, sir, but I do believe you've dropped your wallet. It doesn't look familiar to me. What? I just saw you drop it. Here. No, it's not mine. It is yours. I am trying to be a good person and return it to you. Return what to who? <sighs> Aren't you Patrick Starfish? Yep. And this is your ID? Yep. I found this ID in this wallet. And if that's the case, this must be your wallet. That makes sense to me. Then take it. It's not my wallet. <laughs> you dim bulb, take back your wallet or I'll rip your arms off! Uh-uh. Wrong. <laughs> oh, oh, stop! Good people don't rip other people's arms off. Okay, goodness lesson number two. You see someone struggling with a heavy package. What do you do? Hello, friend. I noticed you were struggling with that package. Would you like some help with... Ow! Oops. Sorry, can I start over? I noticed you were... Ow! Oops, gotta start again. What? Ah! Oops! Yeah, you butterfinger pink thing. What's in that box anyhow? My wallet. Ah! Dude! SpongeBob, tickle him! It tickles, but it's worth it. SpongeBob! <laughs> All right, goodness lesson number three. Uh, let's see. I've got one. I'm thinking of a number between one and one hundred. What is it? Um, sixty-two. Wrong. <laughs> <laughs> stop, stop! <laughs> hey, Patrick, that's got nothing to do with being good. Let go of it, SpongeBob! Pat, we've got to use it only when he's bad. <laughs> let go! No, you let go! <laughs> stop! Let, let go! go. <laughs> Frequency rising! <laughs> Belt out of control! <laughs> Belt out too high! <laughs> Tickling my DNA! <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> Please! You hear that, Patrick? He said the P word. Peanuts? No, please. Well, that's good enough for me. I guess he's reconstituted. Rehabilitated. Gesundheit. It's graduation day, Man Ray. This is the key to your future. <laughs> Just look at him, Patrick. The picture of goodness. <laughs> uh, we're not supposed to touch that stuff. Ooh. <laughs> we're not supposed to touch that either. <laughs> People have no use for weapons such as balls! <laughs> the only thing I'm good at is being evil. So long, suckers! What's that smell, SpongeBob? It's the smell of defeat, Patrick. Good, I thought it was my skin. Worse than that, Man Ray is still bad, and someone has to stop him. This is a job for Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! To the invisible boatmobile! Wait! I don't have a license! Well, this is an invisible boat, right? So you need an invisible license! You're the best sidekick ever, Barnacle Boy! 